So can wearing a bunch of red or green uh, for the solar eclipse enhance your viewing experience? I'm Dr. Nicole Byage, board certified ophthalmologist. And to answer this question, we have to go in a little bit of the science. So there's something called the Purkinje effect, uh, commonly mispronounced as the Purkinje effect though, but it was named after the Czech anatomist of the same name. And the whole reason that we can even see is because we have this highly specialized network of cells in our retina uh, that transmits light into an electric impulse so that we can make sense of it in our brain and see what we see. And so you have two kinds of photoreceptors. You got your rods and you got your cones. Uh, and the rods help us basically for our nighttime vision and the cones for our daytime vision. And so there's this thing called dark adaptation where you know as we transition to nighttime, the rods kind of take over and uh, help us with our nighttime vision. But when you've got the eclipse coming on, you don't have time to dark adapt. So if you haven't dark adapted yet and there's limited light or photons, the retina can get highly sensitized towards uh, colors on the shorter wavelength of the spectrum. So blues and greens can really pop against reds that might look darker or even black. So the end result can cause this kind of eerie glow. Uh, so, you know, if you're looking for something cool, try it out and see what you think. Just make sure that you wear your eclipse glasses when appropriate.